The new version of 5D Stitch Editor has a new facility to enable you to add cut work needles into an existing embroidery design. What we're going to do, we're going to take this embroidery design and in the centre here, add the cut work needle line so we can have reverse applique or just a hole if you like. First thing we need to do, just zoom into this a little bit and then understand how this actually stitches. So we'll just use the stitch player. So we'll play through, we can see it does the handle, comes up, does the shaft, then it goes round to do the head and the strings on the racket. And finally the satin border. So what we need to do is to add the cutwork needle lines just at the end of this shaft and before the strings are placed. So what we do is we use our sliders to find that position. Do we slide this back? Get away all those knit stitches. Approximately that position. OK, so now obviously we need a guideline to show where we're going to put those cutwork needle lines. So we just switch on ghost mode. We're now also going to go into 2D, which will be a little bit more accurate for us. I'm actually going to zoom in again. Be nice and accurate. We don't have to be too accurate, but it's not a bad idea to be reasonably accurate. Before we start, I'm going to go to the preferences. There's a new tab called Cutwork. Click on that. Let's just go through these basic settings. There's two different methods of working with the cutwork needles. One is for two needles, one is for four needles. The two needle one works on most fabrics. The four needle one, apart from having to change the needles a little bit more, um, is a little bit more accurate and will cut that bit better. But as in this design, we're going to uh, cover the cutwork line with satin over the top here. Um, two cutwork needles is fine. The cutwork line options are to include secure points. And what that means is rather than just going around the whole of this inside line with no stopping, which when you're cutting it, it may result in the material lifting up, we would put we would basically jump, we would come around here with the cutting line jump across and carry on. So there'd be a secure point here or here, wherever we desire. That's put in automatically. Distance between these secure points we can change, in this case 30 millimeters. Stabilizing line. As the cutwork needles come round, we put a stabilizing line before they come round because otherwise the material can tend to be dragged up when the needle comes up out of the work. So that helps with a nice sharp cutting line. We can also add a, um, a cutting line after, or stitching line rather, after the cut work line, which again adds to the security. If, it w if the material was um, rather delicate, I probably wouldn't add the after cut work line. We can change the stitch length of these cut work lines, and we can also change the distance from the cut work line to the stabilizing line. The actual needle movement for the cut work needles is set, so you can't change that at this point. So, OK, we've now set our parameters. Click on OK. Go to the Modify tab. And here we have two new icons for the cutwork. Insert cutwork needle line and insert cutwork needle curve. OK, I'm going to use the curve. Click on there. Reasonably close to the edge of the satin. I'm just going to click, put some points, 
as I go round, you'll see a line is generated, which is the curve line. Don't have to overly worry about where the points are. As we go around, Now when we get near to the end, we don't have to worry about um, tidying up exactly. If I do a right click, it will automatically join the first cutting part with the last. OK, so now it's generated the, needle, the cutwork needle line. You can actually see straight away lots of needle points coming around here. Then a jump. So this is the um as we said bring that up as we said this is the secure points. So then another thirty millimeters, then another secure point, again another thirty millimeters. Then we can see here extra points have been added, and this will be the cut work line before and after. go to the design tab we can now see that our design which started off as just green and grey has added we've added the Inspire Cutwork Needle 1, Inspire Cutwork Needle 2 and then grey again okay so if we just draw all of that just use the slider bars to understand a little bit more what's gone on just going to turn the ghost mode off. Carry on. So we've got, just go back to here. This is the shaft. Now this is the first pre cut line. Here goes down the cutwork needle line. Then again the second cutwork needle line. And already we've put in the after cut line and now the uh, strings of the racket and finally the satin. So, as simple as that.